hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time hit the subscribe button and the notification button if you are a returning subscriber oh thank you for being here all this while i mean you're amazing i love you so much yes. okay back to business <laughs> together first step why ask yourself that why aka why do i want to get myself together what do i need to achieve and how am i gonna get there once you answer that question then you can follow these steps which i'm about to help you with these are the things that helped me so i feel like sharing sharing is caring okay you look bang Oof. let's move on <laughs> yeah number one the why part once you understand why you want to change and why you want to get your life together what you need to achieve then maybe the brain can start thinking differently and once you establish that whole wow issue then the next step is get a to-do list My, a to-do list should not be it doesn't have to be what you want to be in five years in ten years no a to-do list are simple things you want to accomplish maybe the next day maybe the next week maybe the next month and before i go to bed every night i do my to-do list like okay guys i have this little thing close to my bed just because i could remember something at 2 a.m and i need to write it down and if i don't write it down i'm going to forget and then a week after i'm like oh my god i had to do this last week so yeah have a little notepad around or maybe download the app on your phone you can just type it in yes so the night before I do my to-do list i pick out my outfit for the next day because you know i don't want to wake up in the morning feeling very tired my brain is trying to wake up and write it oh what am i gonna do today Oof, that day is gonna be a lazy day for me if i do that so yeah most of my things i do them before i sleep so if you do most of the things you need for the next day the night before your day might be less stressful the next day please I just love this fringe that's why i keep doing this <laughs> number two make up your bed before you leave your house okay now when you make up your bed this is how it goes around these minor things if you can actually see them through you can accomplish the minor things in your life it makes you feel like you can accomplish something bigger yeah start with making up your bed start with washing the dishes before you leave the house and the bed is the most important part of my room for me because once it's arranged the room looks arranged coming from a lazy person hmm? like that person that always before i choose another outfit like 10 more should be on the bed that no not this one not this one yeah that's aka me and before i wouldn't even pick it up maybe after a week or i don't know then i'm like okay this is enough let me pick it up yeah but I've just grown a habit. Once my bed is made up, then I'm forced to fix up my room. So yeah, please guys, when you wake up in the morning, fix your bed and then walk out. Okay. So after I got my bed fixed, the next thing, maybe if I'm in the shower or making breakfast for myself, I always play a motivational talk or something, maybe from YouTube or a podcast, but something that makes me want to go through with that day one of the watch this in the morning don't give up yet you know those things i mean they make you feel like the day is gonna be okay listen to something that motivates you some people i mean if i'm not listening to a motivational speech i listen to a song like some days I just wake up and I just want to dance in the morning while I'm in the shower. I do that. I listen to songs and it brings up my spirit. It makes me feel happy. And when you walk into work that day, looking all smiley, I'm sure you can take that energy the whole day. Yeah. So meditation, listening to motivational talks, playing music in the morning, you know, it just leaves my spirit. So I hope this is going to help you lift your spirit give you a better day point number four guys be very careful about the people you have around you 
I don't know how I can stress on these points right now. So be careful about the friends you make, the people you keep around you, the people you talk to. Look, okay, do this. Make sure, I, you might have one or two people that are close to you that are not all positive, positive, but just make sure 80% of the people you talk to and you keep around you are actually positive people. Like they think about the future, what they want to do and actually accomplish, like put in effort because some people are in this life aka this lazy girl right here before all we do is talk about things we want to do that just dreams if you don't take the first step it's not gonna happen nobody's gonna do it for you just you <laughs> i swear i'm not laughing i haven't been laughing this whole video like what's happening to me why are you so serious like the friends you make Make sure the people you keep around you think about their future, put in the effort to move forward, and you know, and they're happy for you. Yeah, that's very important. They're happy for you. I don't know how I can say this, but make friends that think like you. No, mm -mm, scratch that. If you're a lazy person like me, don't make friends that are lazy. Excuse me. <laughs> You need friends that are gonna push you, are gonna call you and ask you, oh, you plan on doing this. Have you done this? Have you finally done this? What have you done to at this? Those are the type of friends you need, guys. Get them, get them, get them. They're gonna help you. The last point I'm going to make, guys, and it's very important. Please, please, please take time to refill your energy. You go out in the morning or when you're leaving for work and you just keep giving and giving. You come back home, maybe your husband or your kids or your family. You just give and give and give. At the end of the day, take your time. Pamper yourself. Maybe you want to go to the gym for a run. You want to watch a movie. You just want to sit down and relax guys this is something i do you see these nails now nah, if i want to go to a shop and say do my nails and i'm paying 50 pounds or 30 pounds i'm just gonna look at it but like no i need that money to put somewhere else and i would do my nails at home but then i just discovered that my mental health is more important than that money that i keep saving yeah so i'm sorry me going to do my nails is just me having me time you know time to relax unless someone do the job for you uh, time to relax put your feet up and watch a movie or just stay in the bathtub or just go out and get dinner for yourself or just do something that's gonna make you happy that it's called for you not someone else just you do you time take time to refill yourself and then get your life together. Okay, last, last point. And you said that one was a lot, but I'm sorry. I just remember, I didn't need to say it. Guys, take time to plan your finances. Like, it's very, very, very extremely important. Because do you know that message you get saying that direct debit needs to leave your account and you know there's no money in it? Now, with me, this is how my brain works. I get anxious. I get anxiety. I'm just gonna answer. Oh, girl, you <laughs> okay? With me, I get anxious when I see those messages. I don't know there's some money in my account. I just feel, and when you're anxious, sometimes all you want to do is eat or drink or smoke or something. But with me, I was addicted to food. All I did was eat when I was anxious. So yeah, that's how that's how I started growing from anxiety. So trust me, take time plan your finances they are very important yeah uh, as i used to say what you don't know will not kill you it's a lie it kills it kills very well <laughs> yeah you need to know it think about what's coming in and what your expenditures are and see if you're spending more on your credit card or things like that you know all those things really matter guys please think about your finances what is coming in and what is going on either somewhere you can cut your expenditure to make sure that what is coming in is either more or equal to what is going out that will be great so we don't keep piling debts and debts and debts and debts and debts i'm sure there's some way you can cut your expenditure that will make you save more and don't forget to save for the future oh yes <laughs>
<laughs> guys that is the end of what i had to say i hope you had fun watching me i know i'm gonna be laughing a lot today why am i just skipping the runs for the end like ooh, this girl over right there look at that ooh, she's bang man Ooh, guys do you love my dress it's from fashion over i love it and guys please don't forget to subscribe share to someone that needs to hear this and leave me a comment for anything just tell me something nice or something bad though like it's not gonna get to me <laughs>